based upon the fact that we had a PO300 random misfire, a PO302 cylinder number two specific misfire, and a PO316 misfire on startup, we're going to do some pinpoint testing. I'm going to do some ignition secondary testing using the Bosch 5200 lab scope. We're going to use the ignition scope feature and we're going to use the inductive wand. Now the inductive wand on the Bosch allows you to move around the coil till you can find the highest level of magnetism to give you the best pattern observation of the secondary waveform. So what we have here is in our menu is we have a secondary quick check and I've got the wand positioned where I believe is, is going to pick up the highest level of inductive magnetism so that we can see a good scope pattern on cylinder number two, which is the second one back on the right bank on this Ford. So let's go ahead and start the vehicle. And you can see, we can see we've got it at 0.2 milliseconds. We can adjust our time base and you can see that there's three firings of the coil. At idle, the Ford is a multi-strike. Now we're focused on cylinder number two. We want to rev it a couple times and see if we can catch anything going on here with the misfire. Let's shut it off and restart it and watch closely if we see any misfires on cylinder number two during the startup. There, you could see the misfire, really short burn time, really high firing voltage on, on that cylinder number two. But the wand is really nice because you can move it from coil to coil. As long as you can touch a part of the coil that has inductive magnetism, you can get a good secondary waveform. Once we come off idle, let's come off idle slightly again and you'll see our Ford goes to a single strike. Increase the load a little bit. There we go, back to idle. So you can see once we get up to a certain load percentage, it goes to a single strike. The multi-strike really helps the Ford idle quality and helps fuel economy in, in, in city driving with a lot of stop and go because the spark plug is actually firing three times. So in summary so far of our diagnostic approach, we have a converter, both the left and the right converters that have failed the no load index switch ratio. We're gonna go on a test drive and do the 50 to 70 mile an hour index switch ratio. We're gonna do the power enrichment to desel fuel cutoff oxygen storage capacity. We're gonna double check our load percentage to make sure that the engine is a good pump that's part of analyzing the breathing part. So let's go on the test drive and uh, perform these tests.